five days of my husband being in, te in detention illegally. He was finally set free yesterday. He got to speak to myself and the children. For the first time, they got to see his eyes when they spoke to him, when we FaceTimed with him. I haven't told them yet that he was rearrested. Um, I am truly shaken to my core at what I witnessed this morning. I was woken up at 4 a.m. to see what I can only call truly outrageous and a, a gross um, disregard for the rule of law. How do I tell my children who, after 125 days, have for the very first time spoken to their dad and seen his face, that he is again in detention and he may not be coming home for Christmas. How do they understand this and, and, and how do they, where do they go from here? What you just heard is the reaction of wife of publisher Sahara Reporters of Bayer Misho Ore after the re-arrest of Revolution Now convener of Moyale Shore. The arrest of Mr. Shore by men of the Department of State Services inside of a court premises hours after being granted bail is generating international concerns. Now, the United States Senator Bob Menendez, a ranking member of the U.S. Senate's uh, Foreign Relations Committee, has condemned the rearrest of Mr. Shore in court. Senator Menendez says the brutal manner in which Shore was arrested was a blatant miscarriage of justice and promised to have his country intervene on the matter. New Jersey is watching, the United States is watching, and the world is watching. I fear that the blatant harassment of Mr. Soiree and activists and journalists whose only crime appears to be exercising his right to free expression is becoming symptomatic of increasingly closing political and civic space in Nigeria, leading me to conclude either that Nigeria no longer respects the rule of law or President Buhari is woefully out of touch with what agents of his government are doing in his name. Freedom of the press is a fundamental pillar of democracy and an indispensable check on government overreach. Journalists who risk their lives to expose the truth should be celebrated not incarcerated.